Well, I thought the transmission in the Mercedes was going to be the last thing I had to deal with before I got back to the Jeep, but guess what? The Ford needs parts again. I blew the rear end out of it not too long ago. So I'm going to be putting an 8.8 .8 in it this time. Here's my junkyard replacement for my Ranger axle. And this is a 8.8. .8. 373 gears. I'm not sure if it's posy or not. I'll have to find that out when I take the cover off. But this particular axle has 117,000 miles, and the one I'm replacing, the 7.5, has about oh, 70,000 miles. Okay, I got this axle up in place, and I think I'm gonna leave the pads. They look pretty decent. Still a lot left to them. And what I am gonna replace are the wheel cylinders and these lines, because this one is broken. And this one doesn't look too bad, but it's pinched right here. So we're gonna get those squared away and bleed the brakes and see how it goes. I should also mention I took the sway bar off in this axle because, well, there isn't any way to uh, connect the sway bar on the, uh, the two-wheel drive unless someone's taken it off this, but I don't think so. The seven and a half that I took out of here did not have any sway bar uh, apparatus on it, so I don't, I don't think the two-wheel drive had it on it. I'm sure someone will let me know if there was and it's just not on this one because someone took it off or something. All right, I had to uh, put new lines on there and new wheel cylinders. I tried to save the old ones, but that wasn't gonna work out. And put new oil in the differential. That's a limited slip. You have to make sure to add the uh, friction modifier. And I guess that's about it. I'm gonna pull it off the lift now and see how it goes. It's been a few weeks since I put this axle in, and I've been waiting on parts for a while, and they finally came in. And what I've been waiting on is the filler neck. You can see this is pretty well had. My part that I got just came in today, like I said. This thing cost $130, $140 just for this. That's pretty pathetic. They even give you the screws made in Taiwan. Well that went in pretty easy. I guess we're gonna call it done for now. See what breaks next. <laughs> 